How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Minus the Gym. Recently, I got myself a Base Bar Pro, even though I already have an original Base Bar. And the reason why is, I've received a lot of comments asking, Ryan, what is the difference between the Base Bar Pro and the original Base Bar? And I thought, that's a great question. I mean, there's a pretty big price difference between the two, but I had no idea what all the design differences were. So let's dive right in. I wanna explain everything I found that's different between the Pro and the original. So first off, when I opened the box, it looked just like I had opened an original base bar. In fact, I thought maybe they sent me the wrong equipment. But then I looked at the instructions because yes, it comes with assembly instructions and it said something like train like a champion or something like that. So I knew they had sent me the pro line equipment. Next, I found the grenade click pins that come in a nice little package and there's four of them. So two per side. I mean, that's exactly the same as the original. So I knew right then that the way that the base bar pro fastens, like how the bars fasten to one another, is exactly the same as the original. You just lock the pins through the holes and boom, it's very simple and I really don't think that needed any design improvement. Then I started opening up the packaging and looking at the bars themselves and that's when I noticed the big design difference and that's in the feet. You see, the original base bar has what are called T-bars. There's a big U-shaped bar and then two T-bars that are used as the feet. This is perfectly fine. It serves its purpose and I think it works great. I've had the original base bar for more than two years now and I'm very happy with it. But apparently George St. Pierre wanted something that would fold up and be more compact. So that's why they actually, Base Blocks, uses the design concept from the big bar in the base of the Base Bar Pro. What I mean by that is that the feet of the Base Bar Pro are kind of triangular and they have these big thumb screws on each side of the feet. So if you loosen those thumb screws, you can actually fold up the feet and that way the base bar is folding up nice and compact so you can easily slide it behind your couch or behind a door or wherever you wanna hide it. Now with the original base bar, it does collapse flat and you can hide it under a bed or in a closet or wherever, but it's just a different design. So remember, the original has the T-bars for the feet. So what you do is you remove the click pins, you rotate the T-bars, so now they're running parallel to the U-bar. It's just one flat thing. And then you put the grenade click pins back in and you've got one long flat base bar that you can slide under a bed or whatever. So I never really had a problem with that, um, but uh, you know, apparently GSP wanted to improve on it and that seems to be the main design that they changed in the base bar pro. In terms of functionality, you can do all the same exercises on it. All right, you can do straight bar dips and you can do all kinds of different pulling exercises, whether it's front lever work or you're doing rows or you're doing chin-ups or, or whatever. It's all the same between the base bar pro and the original base bar. And also I checked the measurements, like the heights, the low setting I believe is 33 inches, I wanna say, and the high setting is 52 but I'll double check those numbers and I'll put them on the screen. Also, the width is exactly the same, about I think 35 inches. And even the thickness of the bar, it's a pretty thick bar, two inches thick. Uh, and the metal is this dull kind of powder coated metal. So all of that stuff is the same. It seems like the functionality and the specs of the bars are the same. It's really just the feet, the way that the feet fold up for storage that was changed. So I'm not gonna say the exact prices of the Base Bar Pro and the original Base Bar because you know they might change. I have no control over that. But I will say that currently, they are priced at a $40 difference. So if you're wondering if the Pro is worth it, you have to ask yourself, well, how important to you is storage? How important is it to you that you can fold up the feet and have a more compact bar to store in your workout area versus just having the entire Base Bar kind of collapse flat. It's very long, but it's flat. And uh, honestly, I, I have a workout area. I don't even usually collapse mine, but if I do, I'll, you know, I've slid it under a bed and I've hid it in a closet and I think it works quite well. Um, but you have to ask how important is that to you? Is it worth the $40 extra? Also, I want to mention, and this is important, my discount code minus 10 can save you 10% off your order but it does not work on pro equipment, all right? There's something with the contract that Base Blocks has with GSP where they, they can't do affiliate discounts or anything like that. So you can also save, aside from $40, you can save an additional 10% by using my discount code minus 10 on the originals. So keep that in mind as well. But honestly, that is 
that's it. The main design difference is in the way it stores. Everything else, especially in terms of functionality and specs, is the same. So I hope that answers your question for any of you who are wondering what's the difference between the Pro and the original. And I hope I kept this video nice and short, but if you do enjoy listening to me talk about fitness and even nutrition sometimes, maybe you just love the sound of my voice and it's very soothing to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because rambling on and on about fitness and nutrition is something I'm very good at. And I hear I'm even better at instructing and teaching this stuff. So I hope to see you in the next video and I'll talk to you then.